welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel my name is Jessica and this is my channel I have a little bit of everything on this channel so browse through if you like but in this video I'm going to be talking about the five reasons why law of attraction is not working for you we're just gonna get right into it okay so the first reason is that you don't understand the law of attraction and what I mean by that is that <laughs> Oh, they sound so and what I mean by that is okay, law of attraction basically in the most simplest simplest explanation is that you ask, you believe, you receive. Asking, you ask the universe for what you want to bring into your life. Um, believe <laughs> this is the hardest part which I'll get more into in um no, my second point of this video. But um believing. Believing is the hardest part because that's where the like that's where everything happens, especially in your mindset and things that you're doing. That's when you're like really bringing bringing what you want into you and just like believing that's what you're gonna get, what you want, and it's gonna happen. And then the last, um, receive. Receive, that's the easiest part. That's when it comes to you and you're just like, thank you universe and all that good stuff. People also think that you have to learn the law of attraction, which is not true. Law of attraction is more of like, I don't want to say an energy even though that's what it is as well but it's more of it's always happening you don't necessarily learn it you may be like you may get familiar familiarized with the rule of it or like how it exactly happens but a lot of attraction is always happening you can think back to like previous examples in your life of when things have come into your life that you've always wanted or um you have something now that like you visualize it being that way you know it's always happening whether you know about it or you don't know about it you're still attracting things into your life you know that quote where it's like what you have in your life even you know refresh you have attracted everything you have into your life right now everything positive and everything negative and honestly i'm a true firm believer of that why is my brain okay yeah because all the positive things you have in your life you brought that into you all the negative things as well you brought that into you people who continuously have relationships with the same type of person you that means you're continuously attracting that into your life that's what you're putting out there and you keep bringing the same thing into your life so basically you kind of need to like rewire everything how you think about love i'm going to get a little bit deeper into that in like number four or five but yeah also people don't truly understand love attraction because some people believe that okay love they understand law of attraction as an ask believe and receive and like you think the positive thoughts and they come back to you okay but some people also think that when you think negative thoughts those things are going to also come to you as well but no there's something called a buffer time and basically that just means that like if i have a negative thought like at 8.02 p.m doesn't mean that like at 8.02 3 p.m. it's already manifesting into the world and like the universe is going to bring that negative thought into me like no you have i don't know what the specific time is okay let's just say you have a negative thought and then after you're just like oh wait like that was negative i don't really like want that to come into my life you can change that you know you just like basically correct the thought that's basically what you do but if you continuously have this like one specific ne one specific negative thought like oh I'm gonna be in poverty forever. I'm gonna be in poverty forever. I'm gonna be in poverty forever. That is like manifesting, like that the universe is continuously bringing that into you because you're not changing that thought. So, but what if you say it one time and you're like, wait, no, I'm wealthy. Like I'm wealthy. You believe it? My hands. That's gonna come to you. The second reason why law of attraction isn't working for you is because you have doubt in the whole process. Basically, you're not believing in the process. You may have like done the first step you asked for something, but this is the set part I was talking about before, the believing part. You have doubts that's gonna happen. You ask the un universe for financial freedom, but you're like, oh no, I can't, like, it can't come to me. Like, the universe is not gonna give that to me. This really can't happen. And that's doubt. That means you, you're delaying the process of it coming to you. So you need to like release the fear, release the doubt, and just believe just trust the process believe that it's gonna happen to you don't like think about i know it's hard it's like this is something where it's easier said than done but yeah just don't think about like being in the being in poverty not having what you want you just have to really truly believe and that it's hard but once you start like attracting things into your life you just become more 
I don't want to say like resilient you become more like loose and you're like okay this process does work I just truly have to let go and believe that it's really gonna come to me sometimes it's hard to keep that belief at like a certain level and I know you you go down sometimes and honestly I'm not perfect as well yes I've I've attracted many wonderful things into my life there's still way more to come <laughs> but everyone goes through those phases or those moments where you're like am I really gonna like bring this into my life but that's where you just have to like go back a little bit and just you know just believe that it's gonna come to you don't doubt the process because as I said before that really delays in you getting what you want I was listening to another youtuber yesterday Ella Rain Rose literally my favorite just follow her I'm gonna put her link down below she is honestly she explains this better but basically she's saying I don't even know if this is her analogy but I think it's her analogy that let's say you're ordering a pizza and it takes 40 minutes um and you you're like attracted something into your life and after like 10 minutes you're like oh it's not here it's not here that means you just like delay the process and you cancel it within that 10 minutes you're gonna get it in like another 30 minutes I'm not saying like the process only takes 40 minutes but just like analogy you are gonna get it like it's coming to you but if you have doubt and you don't believe you're basically canceling it and then you have to restart the whole thing so just keep that belief keep that faith and it will come to you I, pro I literally I promise it will another reason why law of attraction isn't working for you is because you think it's an overnight process and honestly if it was an overnight process literally everyone in the world would have what they want <laughs> and I no I was gonna say I wish it was an overnight process but I really don't if you if it's too easy and not that like some things do happen really easily and I'll get into that as well but like if it was generally too easy like for everything it was just like it would not be fun you know it's the whole process is fun the whole ch not challenge but the whole scenario is, fu is fun from the moment you ask for the moment you receive it's just it's amazing people believe that you just like you ask the universe for the love of your life and the next day you're going to be going out you're going to meet them and you're going to be like whoa whoa <laughs> it's a little bit more than that but yeah don't i swear every time i film i don't know what animal that was but okay i'm just gonna continue on um we hear some stories where people do ask about things and they do get an overnight and i'm not saying like that's impossible that's definitely possible some things definitely do happen overnight how many times have i said definitely in the past 30 seconds don't know but yes yeah, some people truly believe this is an overnight process and they'll give up within like the first day or two and don't give up it's coming to you it's just like the pizza it's coming to you don't stop it don't cancel it just keep believing that's the most important part and i feel like i'm going to repeat myself like i have multiple times throughout this video but like keep believing that it's coming to you like be that person or be that like have that emotion feel into it tap into it when you ask for something it's almost like placing an order to the universe and the universe they're you know they <laughs> the universe is going to give you everything you want like it's very easy that's like it's a two two person thing it's like you and the universe yes you guys are partners and that's a whole other thing which i can talk about in a whole different video so you and the universe are partners you guys are working together to like get to the next step for you to believe so basically partners yes there's two people i don't know why i'm holding this with the best thing best way i can explain it and you're asking for something the universe is going to give it to you and then you know to the next step but basically this is just going to go into number four of like you have to do your part the, another reason why law of attraction isn't working for you because you're not doing your part you're just asking and then you're just continuing on your life like just like normal like you almost didn't even ask about it and no there's so much not so much but there's also work that has to be done to it because the universe is saying oh you want financial freedom you want the love of your life you want to be an author you want to be a speaker yeah here you go like literally here you go on the silver platter <laughs> it's yours but you have to do your part as well so your part mainly consists of believing and people can do this through different ways like yes there's also like the mind of like believing in your mind your soul your heart your spirit but also um like journaling scripting visualization meditation i feel like there's so much more but i'm just like not they're not on the top of my head right now basically raising your vibration so you can continue on that level of believing i think i no i think i do have a video of like five ways five or six ways that i raise my vibration and i talk about all the things that like help me as well and those things keep me at the belief level so keep my 
believe, belie belief level, at a certain point where things can continuously attract me to my life and it literally works. I'm living proof. Doing your work keeps your faith strong. It keeps the attraction strong. <laughs> can I speak? It keeps the attraction strong so that things continuously flow into your life. Like all, everything is just kind of, kind of flowing together how I like plan this out. Um, this flows into number five, which is you may have energy blocks. And when I go like this, I guess I mean like there's a lot of ways you can have energy blocks. I need to breathe. Okay, I think I think I'm blocked right now. I'm gonna get a drink. Okay, so emotional blocks. As I said before, law of attraction. I don't know. I feel like sometimes they call it like an energy because it is like an energy and like you asking asking the universe for something and like bringing it into your life. That's also an energy like you're giving out a certain energy and you want a certain energy to come into you. So in this situation, like this number five emotional blocks, I'm going to speak about like energy. It's hard to bring things into your life when your energy is blocked. And by that I mean, okay, I'm going to give an example. You want to be a speaker you want to speak in front of like thousands of people you want to fill arenas stadiums but your throat chakra is blocked your throat chakra is blocked and you want to be able to like basically you want you need to unblock your throat chakra to be able to like speak your truth speak what you want to speak about whether it's like law of attraction woman empowerment sports therapy i don't know whatever like your situation is whatever like you want to speak about and that's what I mean by blockage. Let's say you want to bring the love of your life into your life and your heart chakra is blocked. That's hard for the universe to bring to you the love of your life when your heart chakra is blocked. You're not allowing love in. So you need to like release some of that tension, allow like love to come in. Some people, let's say, <clears throat> I'm itchy. Some people, they want the love of their life to come in, but they're not allowing it to come in. And that's where, and so anyways, I just realized to close my window and there's probably construction going on in the background of this. And I just closed my window and I'm already 17 minutes in, so... But yeah. Some people want the love of their life to come into your life, but they're not allowing that love in. So once you have that, like, blocked off, it's hard for the universe to, like, give you the love of your life. Because you're saying, yes, I want it, I want it, I want it, but you don't truly want it. There's some sort of blockage within your heart that you need to let go you need to release and that may go back to like your previous relationships maybe you've been like in bad relationships or you've been done dirty and you truly like holding resentment for love um maybe your parents be they had like a divorce or separation and you kind of like look at love in a different way there's so many situations or like reasons why your heart chakra may be blocked so i recommend like personally i recommend like trying to it's hard to like figure out, but I would just try to feel yourself, feel yourself, <laughs> feel like what chakras you think are blocked. You can also like research about the different chakras. I can talk about that as well. It's a whole nother video of like what, like what certain ones, like the symptoms of them being blocked and what you may be feeling in your life. And like basically just like, this looks weird, but yeah, just seeing like what chakras may be blocked and the symptoms of them and like seeing what connects to you and how you can like release them and let them go so you can attract things into your life because it's really hard like wanting so much trying to attract so much into your life sorry toronto construction um why don't you attract so much into your life but then you're just like a wall like you're blocked off and you're just going through like i want money i want love i want the best job ever I want people who like care for me or whatever. That sounds so weird. But you know what I mean? It's just like you want so much, but you're like you're kind of being timid. You have all these like walls up and these guards up, but you really need to like let go of them and like be free, be you. So yes, it's hard. You have to go to literally the root of why you feel the way you feel. Some people Sometimes you don't even know you have those like limiting beliefs or reasons why that you truly feel the way you feel. But when you go deep, you can bring things out of you and that will allow the universe to just like, literally what you attract is what you want. Like attracts like. <laughs> so you may be having like a certain persona where you're like, yes, I can do this, I can do that. But deep inside you have a whole other story and that's, that's hard that's hard and that we like need to work through that to allow yourself to 
get what you want and I can help you with that as well <laughs> I just love to help okay so basically those are the five reasons why law of attraction may not be working for you hope you enjoyed this video hope you like this video if you have any other questions comments concerns please leave them down in the comments or DM me on Instagram email me I don't know just and there's a lot of ways to contact me Thank you so much for watching this video. Please share it. Please like it. Please comment on it. And also, please, please, please subscribe. It helps me a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay safe and stay healthy. Peace. What is this? I need to, like, figure... Goodbye.